Hello friends, to start working on Gatsby, we will use Gatsby CLI to bootstrap the Gatsby site. So we need to go to their official website which is gatsbyjs.com and here we need to go to docs and inside we need to click on quick start. Okay, so these are the steps to create a Gatsby website. So instead of these steps, I will use npx. npx will help us to get the latest version of Gatsby CLI when you bootstrap your application and that's great. So that is one advantage of using npx. So you can do whatever you want. If you want to follow this step, you can follow this or else you can follow what I am doing. Okay, I will be using npx. So to use npx, we need to go to Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we need a code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code, just Google it as VS Code. And this is the first link. So you need to install this. Okay. So this is for Mac and if you are a Windows user, you just need to click on this arrow and you need to download and install it and even you need to install Node.js. Okay, so here is the Node.js website and if you are a Mac user, just click on this LTS version and if you are a Windows user, just go to downloads and here is the options. Okay, so just click and install it. So these two things you required. Okay, so now I'll go to Visual Studio Code, which is my code editor and here i'll open the terminal by pressing ctrl and backtick key okay which is about the tab key and i want to create my website on desktop so let me go to my desktop which is cd desktop okay now i am inside my desktop and here i will write the command as npx gets p new this new keyword will create a site for us and I'll keep the name of my website as Gatsby-blog, okay? Because we are creating a blog website. You can keep whatever name you want, okay? And I'll press enter. So it will take some time. So now everything is installed and we need to navigate inside the folder. So here we need to write CD and here we need to write Gatsby hyphen blog. Okay, whatever the name of the site you have given. So now I'm inside this folder and now we need to write npm start. Okay, and press enter. So Gatsby will build the site. So it will take some time. So here we have localhost 8000. This is where our dev server is going to be. And we also have localhost 8000 forward slash and underscore underscore underscore. These are three underscore and then GraphQL. So this is the GraphQL editor that I'm going to talk about in the future videos. And we will use this a lot in this course to create GraphQL queries. But for now we will click on, we will copy this localhost 8000 okay i'll copy this and i'll go to the browser and here i'll paste it and as you can see uh, this site is working perfect so we have successfully bootstrap our application with gatsby cli so now let's move on so i'll see you in the next video hello friends in this video we will talk about all the files that were created when we bootstrap our application with the gatsby cli so we need to click on open folder and then we need to select our application which is Gatsby hyphen blog. Okay, we need to select the folder and click on open. So here are all the files in this folder. Okay, so the folder is Gatsby hyphen blog. So all the files are in, inside this folder that we have created uh, when we bootstrap the project. So the first one is readme markdown file. It is a standard markdown file. It tells you a little bit about uh, how you can start the server and Gatsby CLI and a lot of stuff here. Okay, so you can just read it if you want. Then we have package lock uh, file. Okay, uh, then we have package.json and you can see all the dependency here which are installed for our application and this is Gatsby stuff. Okay. You have a uh, Gatsby image uh, that is one which we are going to use to optimize the image. Okay. And uh, Gatsby is actually heavily based on plugins and it has a lot of plugins. If you look at their homepage, 
if you want to do something uh, in your Gatsby site, there is probably already a plugin for it. Okay, so these are some of the plugins which are installed by Gatsby. Okay, so we are going to talk uh, more about on plugins later on. So I won't go uh, much into details. Okay, uh, in this lecture. So Gatsby source file system. Okay, so this plugin uh, which we are going to use to source files and this one transform transformer sharp this one is also used to optimize the image then we have prop types which is used to verify our props and obviously we have react dome and react okay and then we have react helmet and this one is going to handle the stuffs which are in the head tech on your site and then we have dev dependency uh, which installed Prettier by default but uh, I have installed Prettier uh, in my code editor so if I if you click on this icon and if you type Prettier so here is the plugin which I have already installed it okay so if you want you can just uh, search for this plugin and install in your code editor okay so now we have all the scripts okay so these are all the scripts so we have uh, npm run dev okay so once you type npm start this command will be executed and it will start the Gatsby website okay uh, it will load the website in the browser then we have Gatsby develop so if you type npm uh, if you type uh, npm Gatsby develop so it will again start uh, the website and it will load in the uh, browser okay so either you can type npm start or you can type npm Gatsby develop so both are the same okay so but we will be using npm start so it will run this command and our website will be loaded in the browser then we have Gatsby built uh, this is to build our website okay then we have test but we will not go for testing so mostly we will use npm start then we have uh, okay let's go to the all the files so I've talked about readme package log package.json then we have uh, Gatsby ssr dot uh, js and this is for server side rendering so we are not going to use this file in our course so i will not talk more about it and then we have gatsby hyphen node dot js this file we are going to use it is uh, it, it is in this file we are going to create all the post and pages programmatically okay so we will get back to that and uh, then we have gatsby hyphen config .js it is the file where you will set up all your plugins and the config for the site okay and we will see in this uh, and we will see all this in the coming up lectures now we have gatsby hyphen browser.js so this is the file that we use for the browsers api and we will talk about this later uh, when we will set up the light and dark mode then we have git ignore okay then we have prettier ignore prettier that is all about uh, git okay so now let's go to source folder okay so if i click on source folder here are the folders like components so here are the pre-made components like header.js image.js okay and we have uh, css uh, so layout.css so if you want to create the component uh, we will be creating our component in this folder okay so let me close this then we have image folder so we will copy all our images in this folder okay this is for image then we have pages folder so here are all the pages like by default there is index.js so this is all the react code that you see here and everything inside this page folder okay everything inside this page folder gets be automatically create a page okay so if you create any page like about.js so it will be treated as page okay so let me close this close this then we have public folder so once your site is completed then it will uh, go in this public folder and of course we have node modules okay and a cache folder cache folder okay so that's the folder structure of all the files in this project so now let's move uh, on to the next lecture where we will install the dependency which we need for this project so i'll see you in the next video Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to install the dependencies need for our website and we are going to use Markdown as the source for our content on our website. Then we are going to need a plugin to show the reading time which tells us the estimate on how much time the article will take to read.
we will also use style components to create the style for our website so that is also a dependency that we need to install so first let's start with the markdown so let's go to their official website which is gatsbyjs.com and we need to click on docs and here inside we will click on documentation so here so here you need to click on how to guide okay so currently it was open so if you click it will toggle and inside this we will click on routing and pages and here we need to click on how to add content using markdown okay so let's click on this so here they tell us all about how to make your website work with markdown files so this documentation is very good and if you scroll down we need something called gatsby source file system this one is already installed as we use the starter when we bootstrap our application so we don't have to install this okay so then what we need so let's scroll down so we need this plugin okay gatsby transformer remark so this is the one which we are going to install they also tells us how to use this plugin but that i will show you in another video okay so i am not doing that in this video we are just installing the dependency here so this is the one which we need to install gatsby transformer remark okay so let's go to terminal so i'll go to visual studio code and here i will open the terminal by pressing ctrl and back tick key so make sure you are in the right folder okay so mine is gatsby hyphen blog so whatever name you chose for the website make sure that you are in that folder so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to type or maybe i just copy this let's copy this and go back to terminal and let's paste it here and if you press enter it will start installing this plugin okay now this plugin has been installed so now let's move on and now we will install read time okay so let's go to their website and let's go to home page like uh, gatsbyjs.com and here we need to click on plugins and here we need to search for read time okay reading time i think so reading okay this is the one gatsby remark reading time we need to click on this so here are the instructions so they have used yarn add but we will use npm install okay so let me copy this and let's go to visual studio code and here i'll write npm install and i'll paste okay gatsby remark reading time and i'll press enter so this plugin is also been installed now we need to install style component plugin so let's go to their website and here we need to write style component okay gatsby plugin style component let's click on this so here is a line of code which we need to install so first there are three things which we need to install the first one is gatsby plugin style component then we have uh, style components and then we need to babel then we need babel plugin style component so let's copy the entire line and let's go to visual studio code and here i'll paste it okay and press enter so now this is also been installed so these were the plugins which we need for this project so let's type npm start to start our dev environment okay so npm start and then press enter okay now our website is running on localhost 8000 so i think it is uh, already here so let me refresh okay so our site is working fine uh, so that is great so we have installed everything which we need for this project so let's move on and i'll see you in the next video hello friends in this video we will set up our plugins for our project so we need to go to gatsby 
hyphen config dot js file and we will close the sidebar okay so that you can see the code properly so let's change the title here okay so here i will write gatsby blog okay and here the description i will change it i will write gatsby tutorial site okay and i'll save it and author i'll keep it as it is this description you can write whatever you want uh, you can keep uh, whatever description you want okay whatever title you want you can keep it and author also you can change it but i'm keeping as it is so this is the site metadata okay and then we have the property for plugin and plugin is going to be an array okay so you can add as many plugin as you want so first we have Gatsby plugin react helmet so that one is already set up for us so after this i will press enter and i will add a backtick key and here we need to write the name of our plugin which we have installed so i'll write Gatsby hyphen plugin hyphen style hyphen components okay this is the plugin which we have installed to style our component and here we need to add a comma so that is all we need to style our component then we have a plugin called Gatsby source file system then you have some options that you want to provide for your plugin you can create an object like this okay and resolve is a property where you type the plugin name and then you have option property where you also provide an object with the option data set for the specific plugin but if you don't have any options then you can type it like this as a string as i did it here but now we are going to have options because we are going to set up the file system to source our data from our markdown file so this plugin here gatsby source file system with that plugin you can tell gatsby where you have the file you want to use in your site and in this case okay they are setting up the images folder and double underscore dir name is something that you have uh, in node to get the current directory name and they have set up the folder in the source okay in the source uh, forward slash images so here you can check source images and here will be the images okay so this is the path for images source and inside source we have a folder for images and we can do the same to set up the folder where we have our markdown files so in this case i will copy this code so let's copy this code and i'll press enter and i'll paste it okay remember to add a comma here okay otherwise it will give an error and here we need to change the and here we need to change the name to content okay so need to give the name of the folder content and copy this and here also we need to paste it the same thing content let me save this file and in source folder we need to create a folder called content so let's create this folder right away so content so in this folder we will have all our markdown files right now it is empty but we will add the markdown files in the coming up lectures then we also have the plugin that will make all the markdown files work for us and that's the gatsby transformer remark that we have installed so we need to create a new object okay so here i'll create a new object and here i'll write resolve and backtick key and i'll write the name of plugin which is gatsby hyphen transformer hyphen remark okay add a comma and here we need to write options colon and once again we need to add an object and here we need to give the property as plugin okay it, it is plugins and here we are going to set up some plugins for this plugins okay so as we have installed plugin for reading time so in the options object we can have a property of plugin okay and then we have an array so let's add an array and here we need to add a backtick key and we need to write the name of plugin which is gatsby hyphen remark hyphen reading time let's save this so this plugin gatsby hyphen transformer hyphen remark will transform all our markdown files to readable html in our project okay 
and this plugin gets p hyphen remark hyphen reading hyphen time will help us to display the time so we have successfully set up the plugins so these are the plugins which we need for our course and we have also created the folder name content and inside this there will be markdown files okay that i'll show in the coming up lectures now let's go to terminals so i'll press ctrl and back tick key and let's start the development environment by typing npm start so here uh, i think we have done a mistake so here we need to add a comma okay let's save this now it will run okay so npm start okay now let's go to the let's copy this path and let's go to the browser okay here it is so let me refresh so the site is working fine it means we have installed all the plugins correctly so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video hello friends in this video i will show you some trick that will make development little bit easier when creating components and importing them with react so if we look inside index.js file so you can see here where we import the component they are using it with a relative path so we always have to type dot dot forward slash components slash layout or if you are in a deeper subdirectory you have to type dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash and as you can figure it out it can become little bit annoying to be honest so we are going to config catch b to use absolute import that means we can type it like this so we can remove all this dot dot forward slash which is before the components and we need to save this file so this will be an absolute import we will configure gatsby with webpack so it will also look into src folder that's why we can type out component and forward slash layout so let's move ahead and then we need to go to gatsby hyphen node.js and gatsby hyphen node.js file is the file that's run when gatsby built your site and you can read more about it by going to this url so let's go to the browser and let's visit their website so if you go to this url on their website as i mentioned before you can use the file if you want to create dynamic pages okay so here it is written in the text you can use it to create pages dynamically okay and we will also going to use it to add nodes in graphql okay so this file is very important to create dynamic pages and to create nodes in graphql so if you want to read more about it so you can just go through this uh, page so we will create dynamic pages and nodes in graphql in my upcoming videos in the future videos okay but for now i am going to use this file to set up webpack when gatsby creates its webpack config so now they have an another page so if you go to this url okay gatsbyjs.com slash docs slash how to forward slash custom configuration slash add custom webpack config okay so if you want to search this file you can just go to documentation and here in how to uh, there is an option of customization default tool and here you need to click on how to add custom webpack okay so you will end up on this page so as you see here they have something for everybody in the documentation you want to do something and they probably covered it in this documentation okay so it's great so we have this instruction here uh, what we want to do is we want to create absolute import so they have a section for that so let's scroll down so here is the section for this absolute import and it tells you all about it how you should do it here and when gatsby is creating your site and building your site you can export the function uh, that's called on create webpack config and you call this function with different argument okay so the first one is stage and the second one is action so we are going to use action so they destructure it out here and then from the actions we can call the set webpack config and this is webpack stuff okay when we set this up so if you want to know more about webpack how it works i will recommend you to read the official uh, doc okay so this uh, function will take the path src okay the src folder and set that as a default folder for us so we can do absolute import with src folder as a base so now let's go to visual studio code and remove this comment okay 
and here we will add a new comment for absolute imports okay and here we will write exports dot and the name of the function is on create webpack config okay which is equal to and here we need a parenthesis and inside we will add a curly braces and uh, inside that we will so here we are destructuring okay the action so actions and then we need an arrow function and inside this function and from our actions we have something called set webpack config and inside this parentheses we will take an object and inside this we will give a property which is called resolve and it will have an object and then we have modules and this is a webpack stuff so i won't go into details on webpack stuff here because it will take too long to explain them okay so now modules will have an array so first we have path dot resolve and inside this parentheses we will add underscore underscore dir name and this is a directory which we are working in so it's a node stuff and we set it to src so here we will write comma and src and the second element in our array we set it to node underscore modules like that and at the end we have a comma so let's save this file and there is one more thing we need to do as we are using path so here at the top okay before this comment at the top of the file we will create a const and name it as sorry we will take a const and name it as path which is equal to require and here we need to pass the path and this path is something which is built in with node so we can require that one okay so that's everything we have to do to set up absolute import so let's save this file if we go to index.js so we have already removed dot dot forward slash so now this is an absolute import here in the index.js so now we need to open the terminal by pressing ctrl and backtick key let's stop this by pressing ctrl c and then uh, we will start the development server by writing npm start so we are getting some error let's go to gatsby hyphen node.js file src here it is giving me an issue so let's see what is the error src is not defined okay so here we need quotation mark okay and here also we need double quotes so let's save this and now let's run it again so control c and pm start So now it is the site is built. So let's go to the browser and check if I refresh. So everything is working fine. So now this will make our development uh, much easier. Uh, we don't have to type dot dot forward slash all the time to while importing the component. Uh, so this is it for this lecture and I'll see you in the next video.